guys welcome back to a brand new disney heroes battle mode video and today's video guys over the weekend i treated myself to one of these fan plastic um stamina packs it was like a four pound one you got like 3150 odd i think and i thought i'd use it to increase the level on zeus not realizing it was a, it was a double drop event when i did it i was able to get a huge range of characters leveled up to kind of the max level now. So I recorded it on my phone when I was doing it, guys. So you can see here that I, as I fly through here, obviously I treated myself to the um, to the packs and I go in, fl flew through my stuff for Zeus as well. And now look at this. So I started off obviously working on Zeus. I was able to in one press, get him up to yellow three. So all the way from red 18 to yellow three in one click, 97,000 stamina gone boom zeus yellow free i maxed out my level as well obviously whenever you do one of your big um stamina things guys the levels max out instantly so let's take a little naughty screenshot of that so we've got zeus up to yellow free and i have to say he is absolutely overpowered now so i got zeus up to yellow free uh, let me just put the playback speed on um faster so we can shoot through this so i just want to show you guys everything i did basically um here we go so we've got Zeus upgraded, and I had a look to see how much stamina I had, and I can go into here, and then we click on Aerial. I got Aerial up to Yellow 3 as well, so that's another big, big push for Aerial. And I have to say, guys, with Aerial here, um, it's it's a very, very good upgrade, because Aerial was lacking health, but because I've got up to Yellow 3 now, there's a she's a lot stronger and basically doesn't disappear. So we've got area up to yellow three as well and then my next priority was of course kermit so i got kermit up to yellow three as well which was another huge promotion for kermit there so that's another nice one we got kermit up to big yellow three so that makes kermit even more op and then i'm not going to show you the rest of them guys but i got ducky and bunny up i might as well there's not long left i got ducky and bunny up to yellow three and I believe I also got Ian up to yellow free as well. So I think that was one click, yeah. So I got a, quite a big range of all of my characters here, all up to yellow free guys, which is very, very good. There we go. Boom. And Mulan to yellow free as well. And then I got Pleakly up one more level to yellow one. So there's kind of the spree that I said I was going to do. And it was a very good push. So I've got all of my characters now to a very, very decent level like i wasn't particularly expecting them to go up to sort of that good of a level but it has done very very well um who can i use in this can i use zeus in this one no not yet so obviously the next character i'm going to work on here to get up to yellow three is Clawhauser. um bolt i want to get up to yellow four but i need to do a little bit more of the story you can see it's taken me down a lot of money about 300 million and i was also able to get all of zeus's skill points maxed out oh nearly actually um, tell a lie. I should be able to do that towards the end of today if I keep jumping on. So that's nearly got Zeus maxed out now as well. And I'm going to be doing the a huge battle badge summoning spree with um, my brother over the weekend, guys. So I'm excited to do that. But yeah, so that is incredible. Zeus absolutely killing it. So we're doing incredible with Zeus here. And um, I haven't done his battle badge yet. I need to look into that. And his mods, I'm just going to do four skill power mods. And probably um, enhance them with his... Uh, there's one skill which is ridiculous. I was thinking of doing it to... Cloud Care is quite good because it heals him. But Zeus is quite overpowered. It's not particularly needed to upgrade it. Plus when you upgrade skill power in itself, you'll get that increased. So basically every single one of his skills does skill damage. Skill damage. So if you just get four skill mods on him, it's going to be pretty ridiculous. So I was thinking of trying to upgrade his purple skill as much as possible. So that would increase his basic attack to chain. And then we can bring up the chance for the stun as well. Really bring that up. So I was really thinking of putting four ones to increase his purple skill. So if I did that, every lightning bolt he throws would do millions more damage on the, um, on the chain. So purple skill, I got, I got 855 of them. Because most of the other characters I use, their purple skill is not great at all. So that's kind of what I'm looking at, guys. 
but he is very, very good. So that's the update which you were wanting to see on Zeus, and he is very, very, very overpowered. So of course, guys, I know I don't need to really tell you this, but make sure you do all your quests every day. Um, let's go until I get one more, actually. Let's see. Yes, there we go. Got another 20 for Zeus there. Let's, let's do one more. Let's see. Let's see if I can do one more here. I'll tell you what, it, it keeps seeming to be in the... I always do my little technique down the middle here. Yes, got it again. That was quite a good one. Like that. So I've already got on 20 more times there, guys. So that's good enough. And then you can you can see it's very easy to go through these. I always open the diamond crate, then you get two. You know, none of these are difficult to push through. So you there shouldn't be any reason that you guys don't do these. And I know, again, it's obvious. I don't really need to tell you every video. But Zeus is a very, very, very overpowered character. And most of you should be able to get him for free by basically just not doing a lot. So just kind of bear that in mind, guys. That... There we go. Uh, have I cleared all those? Not yet. I need to make a purchase in the shop. You, just, you can just buy that for gold. Done. There we go. How long? We've still got 10 days. So I've still got a huge amount to get here. So I'm not hugely worried about not being able to get him up to 6 stars. But yeah. It is good. I'm already on stage 9. It's day 10. Um, and yeah, it's going well. Let's, let's see if we can get him one more time, shall we? Yes, there we go. So I always just cross through the middle, and it always seems to work perfectly. So on stage 10, which is obviously after, um, which is good. I think with Ariel, I got to stage like 29 or something. So that was pretty decent. Loads of money. Ooh, some cheeky ones for Davy Jones. Uh, let's get one with the art near it. <laughs> let's get two diamond crates. Ooh, I'll take some for Kristoff, actually. Oh, that was a pretty rubbish one, actually. Normally, you get better stuff than that. Um, so, let's see if I can get a couple more for Zeus here, shall we? Where are we? 8,000. Ridiculous. 8,000 to craft one of those. But again, that was another good push there. So, let's see what we can do here, guys. And really, really do a nice push here. Uh, I think the colours... I'm doing quite well, but at the moment I'm being nice to people and I've just knocked my account of rubbish so all the guilds can sort of progress through the event ni nice and easily. But I'm going to do a spree on this um, over the next couple of days. And I have to say, um, Zeus does let you run through the story mode like an absolute demon. Let's do a couple of story mode missions just to end the video. Oh, they've moved Bolt into the VIP crate. So that means after Bolt, Ariel will come in. After Ariel, Zeus will come in. So it's nice. So that gives everybody a nice chance. Okay, cool. I mean, most people should be able to get him up to um, six stars quite easily. I know it's all luck-based, but it's not too hard. And we still have 12 days to get more tokens. So I don't think it's too much of a issue, guys. So let's do a story mode battle here to round up the video. Because I just want to show you how ridiculous Zeus is. Alright, so this is the team I'm using. Zeus and Bolt. Healer, healer, Ian for the firework move. It's ridiculous, but for the sake of this, I'll put Ariel on, just so you can see her. So you can see I've got the three prize war characters all together here. Look, look at that chain. See that chain lightning? It basically killed them all instantly. And then Ariel got a cheeky bubble shield on Clawhouse there. So again here, watch, I'll use this special threat away here. Look, look at everybody die. Look at that. Then chain lightning, everyone else is dead. So I'm thinking of trying to fully upgrade that chain lightning move. And it's really going to be ridiculous. So again here, watch. I'll use arrow spec here as well. So you can see that Bolt and um, Zeus and Ariel together are ridiculous. Here we go. So even if he doesn't do damage, he still steals their special. Which is really quite cool. So look, special one, minus 200, minus 200, minus 80, minus 200. So that means when it's a 1v1, Zeus really just sits there and stops everybody from ever getting their special, which is a little bit mental. So there we go. That's nice there. So basically what I'm saying is, guys, these are very easy now, and I'd very much like to get Bolt and Zeus up to 
uh, yellow seven. And that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to try and do is rinse through the story mode. I'm going to do a couple levels. So we've got train lightning. I'm going to do a couple of levels every um, every day at the end of my videos, guys. And yeah, make sure again you comment down below and let me know where you guys all are. Look at that. The bark from Bolt is ridiculous. So now we'll try aerial special out here. Watch what aerial special does as well. It's quite mad. Here. That does like millions damage to everyone as well. See? Those three prize or characters are mad. So I'm hoping that they actually... Um, because obviously we've got damage, damage, support. So we've kind of got the three best characters. And if you cross them with Clawhauser, it's absolutely mental. So there we go, guys. There's my Zeus. There's my leveling up spree. All of my characters are moving very, very well. Um, I guess now I should um, drop Zeus in my defense team. Should I try that? Let's, let's see how that goes in there. I need to get their yellow and badges actually activated with um, both. Um, am I doing a friendship mission with her? Um, think, think. Yes, I am. Who am I doing it with? Is she in there, Ariel? Yes, she is. I was doing it with um, Barbosa. What was Barbosa's disc then? When Ariel allies healed by one of her skills while they're at full HP, they generate... Yeah, that's mad. Yeah, I don't really care about that. That is absolutely mental, and it does the healing and her skill power up as well. I haven't pushed her friendship missions much here. I do kind of need to do that, because they're not going to be... Oh, actually, I don't, I don't know if she's going to be able to do this on her own. Yeah, she's not. they're not going to be able to take him out, I don't think. See, maybe after I've got Ariel up to yeah, um, yellow 7. See, you can see how powerful her healing is, because it was basically keeping him alive for quite a long time. But she's not good enough to take down his shield, so I will need to level up Barbosa for a little bit. Which isn't bad, actually, because Barbosa isn't the worst character. And that's why I like to do these friendship missions, because it does kind of push you towards trying to get some other characters leveled up. But, um... As we're going, guys, I've gotten their missions on loop so I can um, start to get some of their shards in, you know. But again, here, I should better do this one straight away. Just these two together are ridiculous. Look. Bang. And again here. Lightning. They're slapping the damage out of Hades then. There we go. See, my power's not high enough to raid, but it should just let me quick fight anyway, because none of it's difficult. See what I mean? It's just not difficult. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see all of you legends in the next one.